guys and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make a USB cryptocurrency wallet. Uh, this is for if you don't have a hardware wallet. I recommend getting one of those instead, but uh, those can be kind of spendy. So this is a good workaround that is uh, fairly secure. So a couple things you're going to need is a USB drive that is empty and a couple pieces of software. So first thing you want to download is a program called Veracrypt, and this just encrypts your drive. I'll leave links to these down below, but we're going to go ahead and download the installer. And uh, now that that's installed, we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to minimize this. Um, it will be a black screen, but it's just asking if you want to allow the app. So just click yes and uh, click OK. Accept the terms, click next and install and wait for that to finish and now it's done so uh go ahead and click finish uh don't need the tutorial but we're gonna go ahead and uh open veracrypt and uh click on create volume and when you're here uh we're gonna encrypt a non-system drive which is a usb drive so make sure you have your usb uh, inside your computer and go ahead and click yes. Now I'm going to do standard volume. Hidden is, uh, it just says it may happen that you are forced by someone to reveal your password to an encrypted volume. There are many situations where you cannot refuse to reveal the password. For example, due to extortion, using a so-called hidden volume allows you to solve such situations without revealing the password to your volume. Um, this is a lot more secure, but I'm going to do standard and select device. And here you can see USB wallet. I already named it and it is drive D and I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that and click next. And I'm going to create encrypted volume and format it. And this is uh, different algorithms you can use in the hashing algorithms but I'm going to use the default one, but if you want, you can pick uh, specific ones, but the default is uh, good enough. And we're going to go ahead and click next and put a password. Um, you want this to be a pretty strong password, but um, just for an example, I'm going to do one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it's just warning me that it's a short password. You want it 20 characters or more. Uh, large files, do you intend to store files larger than four gigabytes? Um, this is for if you aren't uh, using this just for your wallet and you want other stuff, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, just so it's like fully encrypted, like entirely, but I'm um, gonna go ahead and choose XFAT, which is like Windows stuff. Uh, and Mac, I think, but fat is just like uh, everything. Like it's compatible with Linux, Mac, all that. I'm just gonna do X fat and uh, quick format and go ahead and click yes. And you just wanna move your mouse around for a random movement. Uh, it has a random little generator and we're gonna wait until this is fully finished. So I'm just gonna move the mouse around randomly while this finishes and um, it should be pretty quick. Um, it might be a little bit slower because I'm on a laptop instead of my main PC because I've been using uh, my laptop for cryptocurrency instead because it's uh, all in one place and it's offline. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this. And there we go. So now, as you can see, it is done. It is full. So now we go ahead and click format and yes. And then it is done. And there we go. Keep in mind that this volume cannot be mounted or accessed using the drive letter D, which is currently assigned to. So what this means essentially is, um, here we can go ahead and click next or uh, cancel on that. Uh, what this means is if you open up file explorer you can see usb wallet we can't access what is on the drive at all it will want us to format it because it is heavily encrypted it will say not accessible so the way to access it is we click um 
auto mount devices. We're going to go ahead and uh, pick a letter. So let's just say H, then auto mount devices. So now it will uh, pick our USB drive out. And the password we chose is 1234. And we will go ahead and click OK. And it will unencrypt our USB device. Uh, it may take a little bit. As you can see here, it's kind of, it's definitely chugging along. But um, I will be back once this finishes. All right, so it took a while, but now you can see uh, it is finished. So now we can, um, we can click on this and it will open up uh, local disk H. And uh, now that that works, uh, we're going to download the wallet software, which you can find at this link. And I will also have this link down below. Uh, it's a secure blockchain wallet for all devices. You can get it on Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, but we're going to download the Windows version. It also gives you its uh, hash if you want to verify it. And uh, we're going to wait for this to download right here. It's taking a little bit, but it should be done pretty quick. And it is done. It looks like it's done. I guess not. Yeah, this, this can uh, take a while sometimes, but there we go. We're going to open that. Like so. Wait for it to launch. Set opening. Um, yeah, there we go. So go ahead and click yes on that. And accept the terms. Click next. Now when it says select de uh, destination, um, don't click next yet because we actually want this running on our USB. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, local disk H, which is our wallet, and click OK. Next, don't want a desktop shortcut, click next again and install. And as you can see, uh, it shows up right here as it installs, uh, making our wallet on the USB drive. It's almost done. All right, it is now finished. So we can go ahead and click finish and it should launch right up. Let's wait for that to load. Sorry, this laptop's pretty slow. Um, there we go. All right, so this is running off the USB. So we're gonna go ahead and click create a new wallet. And do not show these phrases to anyone. I am showing it because it is an example um, I'm going to, uh, just control C, copy that and, uh, say I have it safely stored next. And I'm just going to skip this part. Confirm. So now we're going to do a password. I'm going to do one, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four. Click. Okay. Oh, it must be 10 characters. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. There we go. And uh, these are, this is like the, it's a, it's a fairly big list, but you can choose from all of these uh, what you want to store. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, select Ethereum, click next, accept and shows you your price uh there's an exchange here too if you want to uh, exchange crypto like you can change it on here uh looks like there's gift cards so you can buy gift cards from crypto um i've never used that before so i'm not sure how that works but um if you wanted to receive we can click on receive and it shows your little uh, qr code and um yeah so if i copy this um i'll go ahead and show what a transaction will look like um i will go ahead and open up my ledger I, I all my usb ports are taken up at the moment so i will go ahead and connect my ledger to my phone and i will send to this address and i will be right back okay so i have um my ledger connected to my phone and i'm gonna send five dollars over i scanned the qr code so I, I'm going to go ahead and click accept and send. Uh, you can't see it on my end, but I have my ledger with me. So should have sent $5. Um, we'll see 
it show up here. It says transaction confirmed. So sending and uh, I will be back once the $5 is on here. Oh, actually, I guess it's already here. But yeah, um, received. That was really fast and it is on the USB natively. So um, as you can see, $4.99 cents. Sent really small amount of Ethereum, but um, yeah, you can see it pop up right here. And um, if I see received, I can see my uh, Ethereum address here. So if I want to send it back, send, I will put my uh, Ethereum address right here and use all funds. Let's click send. It's estimating fees, confirm. Enter my password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Unlock. And as you can see, it has sent my Ethereum back to my ledger and I will show um, the transaction hash up on screen now uh, when I receive it back in my account. But um, yeah, it, it works. Uh, really, really well. And if you are done using it, uh, all you do is you close out, um, you can, you can, uh, eject the USB like so. Let's try again, try again. I guess we'll just unplug it. Um, here I unplugged it. See, it gives you a little warning, but, um, yeah, if I, if I plug this back in, uh, I recommend ejecting it properly <laughs> before unplugging it, but it's, see, see, it says format. Uh, if I open up here. I cannot access the drive whatsoever um, and this works on any computer too but you click auto mount devices one two three four um, and it unencrypts our USB all right so you can see uh, it is finished and we can open it up even though it's on a little different um, drive letter now but uh, we can go ahead and click and wallet and uh, coinomi.exe and this will launch our wallet like so and as you can see um, it is back you can see my sent and received all that stuff and one thing that's nice about this too is if you have your uh, paraphrase written down if you lose your USB it gets lost or stolen uh, you can use those phrases to restore your wallet and you will have your funds back and this is a really good way of keeping your cryptocurrency on a USB drive or like anywhere where you can take it with you. Uh, so it's not on an exchange. So exchanges get hacked all the time. So it's a lot more secure to have it offline like that. And you have full control over it. And they offer a lot of different cryptocurrencies. So um, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. Um, if you like my uh, tutorials and all that, please leave a like and subscribe down below. It means a lot. And uh, comment more ideas you want me to do. Um, I know I've been gone a while. I've been pretty busy uh, this summer with stuff, but um, that's why I'm recording this at like 1 a.m. <laughs> As you can see from the transaction time uh, back wherever I put it. But um, yeah, that's how you store your uh, cryptocurrency on a USB drive uh, securely and safely. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one. And thank you for watching.